Hi, everybody. I'm Richard L. Scott, the Black Christian Greek, the Black Christian Geek. Thanks for coming back to another episode of Linux and More. In this episode, I want to cover a couple of things. Uh, the basic of Linux. Richard, you 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 keep promoting Linux, talk about Linux and what makes it so great. <clears throat> One, I'm recording this on my 2014 MacBook Pro that I purchased when I was in graduate school. So October of this year, this machine would be 10 years old. When I first got into Linux approaching 20 years ago, been using it as my daily driver for about three and a half years now. Excuse me. The big thing was Linux won great on older hardware. So if I go into details, you see uh, model, Apple Inc, MacBook Pro, excuse me, 11 comma three, 16 gigs of RAM, Intel, Core i7 processor, NVIDIA, uh, video adapter, 500 gig internal hard drive, and you see I'm currently running Ubuntu 23.10. Short-term support, long-term support is coming out April of this year to be supported for five years, but that's a discussion for another day. Known X11. I, I regularly run X11 over Wayland for multiple reasons. If you subscribe to the channel, great, uh, great opportunity to ask you to subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up. <clears throat> I promise I'll cover more about the differences in Waveland and X11. X11 or Xorg is the older sunsetting desktop environment and Waveland is the newer current uh, future, if you will, for the Linux desktop. But nevertheless, some things just don't work as well in it. Even uh, vocal screen, the, the screen recording software that I'm using to record this just works far better on, on XR or X11 than it does Waveland. So I said two, two things I wanted to cover. One, uh, why Linux? Linux runs well on older hardware, as I'm demonstrating. Even more so, this machine retail for $2,800, almost a $3,000 laptop 10 years ago. And as of the latest release of the Mac OS, I was three versions of the Mac OS behind. The, la the latest version of the Mac OS that would run on this machine is no longer supported by Apple. So I have nearly a $3,000 laptop for Apple that they told me basically uh, too bad, so sad, you, you can't run on it. Yet, I was able to load Ubuntu 23.10 on it. And I confess to you, I, I tried like uh, three three other versions of Linux on this machine before I, I settled on Ubuntu 23.10 currently. I tried Nex, uh, Neon, KDE Neon, and... The other one escapes me, forgive me. But but they didn't work as well for whatever reason. Some of the drivers didn't work. <clears throat> and the camera doesn't work on this one. I'm using an external camera uh, to record on this. But I keep promising two things. Second thing, uh, first thing is Linux will run on older hardware, but we don't want to relegate Linux to that. Linux run well on newer laptops. I have a newer HP uh, middle to high end laptop that I use as my daily driver, but I have been using this one. I use this machine, this very uh, nine and a half year old Mac a few months ago. It was nine years old then around October, November before the Christmas holiday to use as my daily driver for two weeks while my HP was all being repaired. But I bought that newer version of hardware because I wanted to give Linux equal footing. Second thing is, and this is all I'll cover for, for this particular episode is, when people ask, well, Richard, what can Linux do? I use the Mac OS for 20 years as my primary OS from 2000, roughly 2000 until 2020. And then I started using Linux as my daily driver. And I am currently equally as passionate about Linux now as I was about Macs 20 years ago, because the easiest way to answer that is 
what can't Linux run? Linux can basically run all the same basic tools and things that, that you use on Mac OS on Windows. And now it's just a matter of preference. In all fairness, if you can afford a Mac, I do think uh, Apple does a great job with an eloquent presentation, uh, virtually z zero trouble with their hardware. So if you like using that, it's great. But nevertheless, uh, Linux, LibreOffice come to mind, but LibreOffice is one of the uh, office suites that generally comes preloaded, uh, says out now, I heard this on another Linux podcast, LibreOffice 24, uh, dot two. They've changed their naming scheme, but this is just one example. This is Office Suite, and it actually runs on Linux, Macs, and Windows. But this is a free Office Suite that that I use to to get real work done. But for the most part, I actually use um, Office.com, which works perfect on Linux or drive.google.com or Google Docs. And the ironic thing is before I made the switch from this Mac that I'm using, because again, I bought this when I was in graduate school in 2014. This was the Mac I used to get to graduate school. And the funniest thing is I was running Google Docs for like 85, 90% of my work and the other 10, 15% for the most part, I was using uh, an office suite. So I, I didn't really use much Mac OS functionality. So it was a, a easy switch for me, but my suggestion to you is you can do two things that two, two final things that I really like about Linux. You can put Linux on a USB flash drive and try it without loading it on your machine. Secondly, if you choose to, Linux will run side by side. It's getting a little tricky on the Mac OS, but it'll run dual boot on the Mac OS and definitely on Windows. For the longest, I, I ran Mac as my primary OS, Linux as my secondary OS, and Windows as my third operating system in a dual booting fashion. So hopefully th this kind of helps sensitize you and open you up to at least the consideration of, the, uh, of using Linux, and if you have an older piece of equipment, and keep this in mind though, I would say 10 years old or newer, I actually restored a 20 year old machine. That's a new record, even for me, to functionality. But I told the person that I restored it for that it was barely usable, two gigs of RAM, and a 20 year old processor. So, what's, what's your point, Richard? Know that you have an older machine, but Linux can breathe new life into old Macs like this one or old Windows machine, but just keep in mind it is an older machine. I have been using this machine for the past couple of days to do most of my normal tasks and it works fine, but it is definitely slower than my three and a half year old, well, three year old machine that's much more powerful and much faster. So keep that in mind. Thanks for watching. If you like this, give us a thumbs up, share the channel with others, consider subscribing if you're not already. Again, this is Richard L. Scott, the Black Christian Geek with Linux and more. I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. God bless.